Hello everybody, welcome to one of my sporadic random AF unscheduled. <laughs> Here we are on YouTube. Um, I think I posted on my Instagram story. Um, I'm at elena.m.plans on Instagram for my stationary page. And um, one of the things I shared recently, uh, should I zoom out just a little bit? There we go. There's a corner of my keyboard trying to keep that out of frame. Uh, one of the things that I shared um, on my story today was I have to stay off my other Instagram for like about 24 hours. Um, my engagement is like atrociously low on certain things. Um, and for those of you that don't know, I actually um, am an online hormone and metabolism coach, which is a fancy way of saying I'm an online fitness and nutrition coach, but I focus on hormones, metabolism, and gut health. Um, I do order labs for my clients. I do help them read their labs. I'm not a doctor. I cannot diagnose, but my job is to help people optimize their digestive health and hormonal profiles and metabolism through lifestyle, nutrition, exercise, medical advocacy where appropriate. Um, I do have clinics that I work with for individuals who need hormone replacement therapy and um, other peptide therapies uh, when it, we get to that point. So um, I have pretty much all of my other marketing, all of my engagement, all of my business gets run over on Instagram, which now that I say that out loud is a little bit terrifying. Um, and I actually been working really hard um, the last couple of years. I have some really amazing lead magnets. I have about uh, 300 some odd people on an email list. Uh, thank goodness. Um, so that in case, uh, my Instagram ever goes bye-bye, I have everything. Um, but I also have like all of my assets and marketing and everything saved from like way back when, um, like I have everything saved in Airtable. So anyway, needless to say, um, when this starts to happen, I basically have to like stay off of Instagram for a minimum of 24 hours to help bring my engagement back up. Otherwise my posts don't get seen, my stories don't get seen. And while I do a lot of outreach, like I actively engage with my community, I spend time intentionally every single day talking to people, inviting new people onto my page, um, and creating resources so that it's a valuable space for people to be. Instagram doesn't like that. Even when you're clearly like running a business, they like reduce how much you can engage. And if you do too much or do certain things that they don't like, they like randomly like you know, slow down your, uh, they slow down your engagement, which is really frustrating, um, for small businesses. Um, I don't know if other small businesses deal with this, but I definitely do. So I figured I would do a couple YouTubes. Um, on my Instagram, I did a 20 or Q2 sort of planner update, if you will, of like what I used in quarter one, what I used in quarter two, because I just didn't have the bandwidth to do like a YouTube video, if I'm being quite honest. Um, and so I figured I would do it on Instagram live. Um, I'll probably post this video to Instagram too, just depending on how long it ends up being. Um, sometimes those go well, sometimes they don't. Um, but I did an Instagram live and I'll actually put the link to that in the description box down below if you're interested in viewing my sort of quarter one review setup. Um, maybe I'll do a recording of it here for YouTube as well if I feel so inclined, but seeing as my stationary stuff is more so for funsies, not that I don't enjoy making content for my other page, but that is now my job. And when I tell you guys, I do a lot of marketing. I'm posting like five or six days a week on Instagram. I'm usually planning a week ahead or, or a month ahead. I'm planning quarters at a time. I have my podcast, I have my email list. Like I have a lot of things going on there. Um, and so I just don't have the time to regularly schedule in YouTube. Although I would love to do just for funsies like a week because the community here in the planner community is so nice and so kind and so fun to be around. And actually I've gotten some really amazing clients that have come to me and I've been able to start really helping them make shifts in their lifestyle. Um, and so if you are my client and you're in the planner community, Hey, uh, one of my clients, it's really fun. She actually really enjoys using her paper test weekly. And when she uses that like out on her desk, it helps her just stay more adherent to certain things. Um, and so we leverage that for her fitness accountability and her nutrition accountability and like showing up to do the things because I fully understand that sometimes people doing stuff in an app doesn't always make them, their brain connect in the same way. So we're always flexible with how we do accountability anyway. This is not for work, this is for play. Well, it's kind of for work because I'm gonna do a little bit of plan with me here in um, this, but really quick, I just wanted to do a little, uh, um, just do a little, uh, I'm gonna check really quick. I'm gonna see if I'm gonna do a little, dude. 
Okay. I just had to check an email because I sent an email out rescheduling a couple meetings, but they didn't get rescheduled. That's okay because I will still block out enough time to have those meetings in. Um, anyway, uh, I'm going to kind of walk you through my sort of current daily, like daily drivers, if you will. This guy, this little guy too. Um, so this is the Hobonichi A5 or five year A6 Techo that I've been using, um, which has been so, so fun to do. I love doing memory keeping, but this year just, I was like, Oh, I kind of want to do a five year. Like I've been doing sort of the memory a day thing pretty consistently. Um, for this November, 2022, really October, 2022, when I initially got into bullet journaling, um, and I would make these spreads in my bullet journal and I love it. And I was like, man, Okay, if I stick with this for a full year, I'm going to do a five-year journal. So I got a five-year journal, and this has been so fun um, to fill in. It doesn't take me long at all. I love using my fountain pens in it. It's just a fun way to kind of, like, notate sort of the highlights of the day, um, however many there are. Sometimes I bleed over into the next page. Um, but this is sort of, like, I don't necessarily touch this daily, but I do – it does get daily entries, if you will, like if that makes sense. So there's that. And then my journaling this year is much more um, organized. So you guys know that I previously had my big ass set up with this B6 Sterling Inc. 520 page notebook and I used it and I pretty much filled all of it up until about here. Um, I'm actually going to be taking a little um, little knife and I'm going to actually chop out these back pages so I can use them as note pages in my planner, um, in my, um, rings planner because this makes for beautiful paper, but this just got to be, it was really, really awesome. It was everything and anything, but the TLDR is I had everything in here, personal work, journaling, whatever, and it got to be too much and I couldn't focus anymore and I wasn't being productive because I was so distracted by this. And I was also just feeling very overwhelmed to the point where I did not want to use um, a blank journal. And I actually had a B6 freely noted that I was going to use. And I still have it on deck. Um, I have a B6 freely noted that I put some monthlies in for the quarter two. And I'll probably just, they're tipped in. I'll probably just take again a little razor knife and just pull them out because I wanted up using them. Um, but this is just otherwise blank. Um, and it's a freely noted. So like, this is a beautiful, beautiful book. If you guys don't know Planner Monkey Co., Sydney is an incredible woman and she's so sweet and she's so creative and she makes these amazing, beautiful, gorgeous, like livable books that are so amazing to be in, but they're also amazing because you don't necessarily need to be like super precious with them. And the paper is just, oh, I just... The paper is so good and they're so floppy. Love these books. So I'm going to save this for something else down the road. Um, but I needed to not set up like blank pages, which that's normally something that I really enjoy doing, but I just don't have the brain space for that right now. So I, I'm currently doing daily journaling here in a Hobonichi cousin, but you'll notice that it's cut down to be six size to fit into this Elysian paper cover. I have no idea what just happened with the lighting, you guys. Something happened and it was weird. Hold, please. Okay, I think it's back. I think we're back. Um, and I literally just took it to Staples, had them cut it down. I have this beautiful Elysian paper cover um, that Evangelia made for me. It was part of the sale that she did in December. And I was like, this is great. And I use the monthlies as sort of a mood log. I have multiple moods a day. There's no way I can do like a one mood a day type of situation. So this has been really fun. And then the weeklies I'm using very like um, affirmations and gratitude. What am I reading? What am I watching? What am I listening to? And just like using some of my stash of decorative things. Um, because I'm not using as, as much in my daily planning as I'm used to using. And this has been so nice and easy to fill out. Like this was full by like Thursday and it made my brain so happy that I didn't have to fight to fill up the page. And then the dailies are whatever they're going to be. And I'm not going to use the dailies necessarily as like a daily. So for example, Monday just had washi and... This is a spring start, and then there's some really messy ink testing, some notes on a book, fun quotes from a page I like. Again, 
random randomness very much random and then I was like "Ooh, I have all these stickers from AM paper and art co that are just like stashed that I got from a patreon sub but I've never had the chance to use them so I was like let me use these let me like use these and see how these go because this is the perfect place for me to just use them and so I started filling them up filling up the pages with them. Um, I just finished this book with um, a couple of my buddies on Instagram um, and I'm gonna read The Friend Zone next. So I'm gonna, I have it here. I'm gonna maybe start it today. And I'm gonna put my little review for The Friend Zone there. So that's what I mean by like, this isn't necessarily like stream of conscious journaling every single day like I'm otherwise used to doing because I just don't have the bandwidth for that today. So what I did when I got this book, I really sat down and I was like, I've never liked a Hobonichi cousin. So I went ideas for this book. And then the quarterly, it's an index for monthly topics. I'll show that in a minute. Monthly would be moods of the day, maybe rating the day, major events and milestones. So it might not always look like moods of the day, but that's just what I'm currently enjoying. Weekly would be affirmations, gratitude, nodal events, horoscopes, and then daily sort of miscellaneous journaling, horoscopes, reflections, quotes, song lyrics, brainstorming, pictures, ephemera, book things. And then I ended up not even using the weekly necessary for just that. I kind of did the, I did like a currently page, currently listening, reading, watching, loving, etc. I have some general journal prompts here on this page um, just to kind of help. But even like this page, for example, this was some stream of conscious and so is this, but this is for April 13th and this is technically the page for April 15th. So in a lot of these, I ended up covering up the date and then I put the date of the page so that when I index it, if I index it, I can reference it. So like, here's the index. So like I can reference the day that it's like assigned to kind of more like a page number, but I put like what I actually wrote like this was Friday the 12th, this is Saturday the 13th, this is today actually. And I probably won't even finish the page today, I'll use it for something else. Um, and then uh, here's for example, a page I did. I did a little bit of journaling on Thursday. This was April 11th. This is actually the page for April 10th. But then on this page, I was reminiscing about my like third reread of um, A Court of Mist and Fury that I'm currently doing via graphic audio. And I'm really leaning heavily on stickers so that I don't have to fill a ton up with writing. Um, and I'm using my fountain pens in this book, which is so much fun. If you know, you know. Um, and then for example, too, like on this page, I wrote about Howl's Moving Castle up here. And then this is all from Tuesday. I had a lot of feelings on Tuesday. So I did write more, but it wouldn't have mattered if I didn't. Now, I know myself and I'm not going to stay in this book until next spring. And so what I'm actually doing is I'm using sort of the January through March pages as overflow, if you will. So on January 1st, I did an entry on March 30th. And so in my index, I wrote 3.30.24 journaling right? Just so I can kind of keep it organized. And then same thing here. I wrote, um, here I was brainstorming on these two pages on April 9th about if I wanted to do like a pocket ring set up for fun as kind of like a little media journal to put things in it that I see fit that doesn't necessarily have spreads that I have to fill out daily or even weekly. It's not a primary reference. It's just cute and tiny and fun. And I wrote some notes on this. And so on January uh, 4th and 5th, which is what these pages are dated, I wrote April 9th, Pocket Rings Brainstorm Media. So that's how I'm really using this book. And really the benefit to this for me is that it's not, I don't have to set anything up. I don't have to set up monthlies. I don't have to set up weeklies. I can use the daily as it is, or if I want to sticker the shit out of it, I can sticker the shit out of it. And that's what's happening there. Um, and currently using um, my little Twisby pals here. Um, as sort of my main two for right now is what I'm enjoying. So that's like what I'm currently using. Not really daily, like I said, because sometimes the entries are not about like what happened that day. It's just about whatever randomness I feel like writing, which is lovely. Um, and so now we have this and I'm going to try to keep this like short and sweet. I don't have like a ton of planning necessarily that I need to do for this week. I already did a little bit of it. Again, the lighting is being super goofy. I don't have great natural light in my office. Are we back? I don't have amazing lighting in my office. Um, and I do have like an overhead light, but it's still, sorry if the camera was shaking a little bit. Um, I was just turning the little viewfinder my direction. Um, I don't have amazing lighting. Um, and sometimes it like auto 
cracks like a little bit too much and it makes it too dark. Okay, I manually changed the aperture and exposure on this next few clips, so hopefully that helps with some of the lighting inconsistencies. I really do want to get like a better overhead light. Like I just have this like dinky little ring light. I want to get a better overhead light for doing content at my desk, but if I have dark colors on my desk, it doesn't always pop through. So this is a Moterm Personal Lux rings the 2.0 version with a little zip pocket and secretarial and things like that and this is my current sort of daily driver so this is what i use and reference and take with me to the coffee shop in my office i do work from home but i have a co-working membership and i, I work out of my office like four or five days a week usually just to separate home and work and this stays at home very rarely will this leave the house with me unless it's a weekend or a day i know i have a little bit of leisure time because again I need my journaling to be an outlet and not a distraction and I need to get my shit done. And I really been struggling to get my shit done. So I have this lovely fly leaf from Paperbound Creations, um, a little Aloe's Creative Corner. Um, I can't remember where I got this pin from, but I might try to find the shop for you. And then a little pin here, this is from um, Point Blank Stationery Co, which is an Australian stationery shop. Tweezers, of course, and then back here I have my stickers that I use on a daily basis. So, um, Salam so Creative, these are so fun. A little working emojis, some coffee, more coffee mugs that are like anxiety ridden. I need about a million of these little coffee spilled, spilled coffee dudes because like that is me. Um, some folding, folding clothes from Paper Bits Co. Coffee cups from Midnight Planning extra coffee to go cups midnight planning um these were a part of like a sampler pack i ordered from her at the end of the year totes worth it bt dubs um some little bookish stickers from salam creative little moterm stickers from salam creative so like if i'm journaling uh these are from sydney at planner monkey coat get in loser we're going to therapy um i'm really leveling up in the world and as of this next week i have two therapists i have a talk therapist and a brain spotting therapist um i feel very like wow I like I leveled up in life somehow. Um, not that I'm like proud to be dealing with trauma, but I'm very proud that like I'm seeking out the resources proactively and prioritizing it within my finances to make sure that I get the help that I need so I can just like sleep. Yeah. Some extra little coffee. These are like my first coffee monsters co orders, and I just they're little coffee dudes and I love them. Some more little coffee dudes. Bath, little bathtubs from a random shop on Etsy that I found. It's a hoot.com because I love taking baths with bath bombs. That's like my go-to thing. So like if I do take a little bath like once or twice a week, I like take a little sticker off and like stick it down on my daily sometimes. A laundry basket from Paper Bits Co. And then we're back at the beginning. These are sort of my daily drivers. I used to have like a big whole folder and it's actually like right here and this is like everything that I was giving myself access to on a daily basis and it's just like more than what my brain can handle right now but I still keep them in this folder because these are all sticker sheets that I will still like reference consistently like if I do want to add one in later on in the day like if I did take a nap I'll like pull this sheet out and like pop it pop the sticker on later in the day um when I'm catching up with my journals um and then uh, I guess this is less of a plan with me and like more of a tour. So maybe I will film like a separate plan with me just so the videos aren't like overwhelming. Um, and then uh, just to walk you through this. So this is a personal size. Oh, I was going to find, this is also from Point Blank Stationery Co. I was going to find, I can look really quick on Etsy where this little moth pin is from. Because I actually had somebody comment um, on it on Instagram and they're like, that is so cute. I'm like, I know, I don't remember what it's from. It is from the bitter season. No, that is not it. Hold please. I have a lot of moth like washi tape and stickers and things like that. Pin. Ah, it's from the Orange Street shop. And so uh, I don't know if she still has it, but this was actually my very first planner pin ever. I just thought it was so cute and so delicate. I think moths are so, so pretty. I don't know if that shop is still on Etsy. I don't think it's on Etsy anymore. 
So I'm like looking for it and it says, uh oh, not found. Um, this is a freebie from Plan With B. Um, this is like falling apart. I'm just a little, I think, too hard on like paper being stick here. So I don't know if I'm going to keep this here. But this first section is, um, these are from Watchbacker Plan freebies. This first section is my monthly, our annuals and monthly. So this first one has like my future log, which has like client dates of like when certain contracts are up, when certain events are happening, certain holidays, when I have time off things like that so it's just a little future log for January and February I started adding in I put um, Onyx Storm is coming out on the 28th oh on the 21st my book doesn't ship till the 28th and Barnes and Noble bills like when it ships it's weird so I just put a note to myself like hey you're gonna have money charged on that card and then we go into my monthlies which at the very front I put in sort of the remainder of the freebies from a uh, Crap, Peanuts Planner Co. Because I want to track a few things in relationship to some peptide therapy that I'm doing. And then I have my actual monthly, which I need to update. Um, this is from Alice Creative Corner. I just punched it and then stuck it in here as like a little um, page marker. These are kind of the weekly projects that I have to focus on. So like, okay, I had all my one-on-one -on -one calls. Um, I did my ID plans, but I have to finish just a few more things. I still need to write a couple emails. That's done. Um, and then I will like, I did this, did this, did this. Um, this was ad hoc day. It just gives me like an overview ad hoc day. I did like a bunch of random client work today. And then Friday was, um, Friday was mainly just like, there was no major projects on Friday. I actually had a former client, um, fly in. She was, um, lunch with Jamie. I had a former client fly in for something. And so I picked up at the airport here. Um, and I, we went out to brunch and then I just like to like check off the day. We today is Saturday. I'll check it off now while I'm thinking about it. And then I just pop this back in here. And this is a, not my normal pen I used to plan with. I actually have been using normally a Sarasa Markon, but all of my Markons are dried out. Like my one that I was using was out of ink. And then every single one that I went to go use could not get them working properly. They were skipping, they were thin, they weren't dark, they weren't dense. So I just ordered um, some new refills, but I have this, uh, this is a Twisby mini diamond in fine nib with Diatrementis archive ink in it in black. And I was like, this'll work for now. Um, I have a multi pen, but it doesn't fit in my pen loop. So I, I need my pens to fit in my pen loop. So this is my monthly. Um, and then right here is some more just monthly reference. I keep the bulk of my like fitness and health trackers in actually my reference binder, which is this personal wide. It has like a mix of personal wide and FCC because I actually started my rings journey in personal wide, but like this is a Vanderspec, um, and I use this as my reference planner. Like I update it like once a week. Um, and this houses like long-term information. Um, and it sits just right on my desk and I start, I'm tracking period symptoms because I've been having some excess issues with my endometriosis recently. This is a page card from Planex Stowe and I put a little pocket here on it because I have all my Randy Dots plans like icons and then this is where I track and log visually my exercise on a weekly basis. We don't need to talk about this week and the fact that I haven't slept and I have a rule that if I sleep less than like six and a half hours I don't train because that's just asking to send me back into issues with my adrenals and cortisol. Um, and then steps, I was tracking my sleep and then it was stressing me out. And then I was like, but I kind of want to log the data this way to see like what improvements I make. And so I just made a couple blank like trackers, April weigh-ins, just again on random grid paper. And then here's like another monthly where like I already have like what week my projects have to be mapped out. So when we get to the end of June, I know what weeks I need to open my calendar for my private calls with my clients. Um, and what I need to block out time for like the first week of and last week of April, first week of June. Cause I really plan on like a weekly basis versus like a monthly basis or like a four to five week block. Um, this week is kind of like an extra week in May. Uh, and so I'm going to maybe use it for some projects time, but maybe schedule like a few days off in here because I think I need to do that just a little bit more proactively, um, lately. Um, and so here's May, and then I have, again, my calendar for tracking my workouts. This isn't what I normally like to do, but I have them printed and ready, so I'm going to use them. And then I have June, 
in here. So this is basically everything that I need like for quarter two, more or less. Um, and then uh, again, this is like a mock-up that I drew of what I really would like for a monthly, a monthly, a four week block. So I would love to look more on like the, the weekly focus just at four weeks and have the boxes a little bit bigger with just some lined notes at the bottom. But so I made this as like a reference so I can maybe make an insert for myself. Then this is my weekly slash dailies. Um, so this is an insert from Planet Stowe, I believe, and it's little pockets. So I have just a little Aloe's Creative Corner um, bookmark in here because I like have a little ribbon stick at the top and then a little Goulet Pens sticker. And then this just, I, I stuck some weekly trackers that I printed from Plans with B here, down here, which I love these, you'll see in a minute. Um, and I love using daily pages. I usually end up doing like a day on two pages to a degree, but this was like in the month of April when I was switching sort of, or in the end of March, this is my dad's birthday. Um, love you, dad. Um, this was the uh, end of March into April where I switched into the personal size from the personal wide because the personal wide was just getting really big and I was feeling, feeling very overwhelmed. So there's sort of my dailies. I was just doing dailies on like grid paper. I made like a daily timeline. I made some of these grid inserts myself. Um, and then you'll just kind of see, I use like a lot of the Randy Dot Plan stickers, but I love having like a little timeline. And this is really what helps me stay aware. I have horrible ADHD and I really see time visually. Um, and so I like having that timeline to just reference. And then I log personal and work all in the same place. I can't separate it. If I have more than one place that I have to look on a daily basis, my brain will like melt. Like, I don't know how else to explain it. Um, and then, so here's just some dailies. Uh, this is like what a weekend looks like Saturday the 31st. And then these were just training updates that I needed to make for my clients for April. Um, favorite affirmations, some more notes, pages, random. And then this is when I started using these new dailies. And then these are just little tabs. I can't remember where I got them from, but they're just little paper tabs. This is now the new dailies that I used from Row Row, Row Plans. Um, and they're modeled after like the two day on a page sort of Franklin Covey where like on this left side, they have like, they have the key. If I show you one that's not messed up, it has like completed, forward, deleted, delegated, and in progress, but I don't use any of this. So I actually tape over it and I don't use the like A, B, one, two, three system very frequently. I just use really the bullet journal signifier. So like a dot for a task, an arrow if it's done, a half a slash, a half a slash if it's started, an X if it's completed, um, and a circle for an event. And that's what I do. Um, and so I love this. This is what a blank one looks like. And I actually dated all of my dailies through June, except for I had to pop June out of here because it was just so thick that I couldn't function in my back pages. So I was like, whatever, I'll just keep May in and put June in my reference binder and then pull it out when I'm ready. I can really only keep two months of dailies in here at a time, I think. Um, and this is what I did for the rest of my dailies. I ran out of black ink, but what I did was I took the PDF and I just in my PDF editor put like a white square over these extra signifiers so that I don't always feel like I need to cover them up. That if I leave it blank, it's fine. Or I'll just continue. I've been enjoying putting like a piece of washi and like a piece of washi, but I really love having this because I get so much influx of stuff on a daily basis. And I really love having all the dated pages in here because I can like plop stuff in here ahead of time. And that's been really helpful. So like, for example, on Friday, or my client that was coming in, I was like, um, oh, here's the details. She's landing at this time. This is the airline she's on. This is the, um, uh, and then I wrote down her uh, address to her Airbnb, which I didn't cover up, but I am now. And I did a hundred ounces of water. So hold please while I really quickly grab a black marker. And we're just gonna, there we go, fixed. Okay, now I don't have to hold it down. I usually go through, because sometimes I have sensitive information here. I cover it up with a sticky regardless. Um, so that's why I don't accidentally like post. And then today I had like an, I had a meeting with somebody and these, so I just covered up this because this has notes about her labs underneath. So like for today, I was able to go when I was talking with her on like Monday of like, hey, tell me 
when you're landing, what your Airbnb address is, like what time you're landing. She actually ended at 10.55, not 11.55. Um, and then what your address is, and then I'll put together the information. I was able to write this down ahead of time. And I'm very much usually not like a dated planner girly, but I think that because I'm only doing like a quarter at a time, and right now in this current season, I just need a little extra like less nonsense, if you will. Um, that's... I just need the dated things. But I didn't want something that was pre-dated because I don't know if I'm always gonna love this layout, right? But for now, I really like it, it's working. I like that I don't have to set it up. It's already there, the timeline's there. All I had to do is stick a sticker down. And then this is like my recurring task at the bottom and then my sort of task list at the top, if you will. So things that are highlighted, I'll sometimes highlight it if it's personal. I'll sometimes highlight it if it's, um, if I'm like, going through for a task sweep, I'll highlight anything that needs to still be done. That's still like an open task that needs to be kind of like migrated forward. But you can see, like I still use some stickerage and some tape, but it's not nearly as decorative as like I used to do. <laughs> you got this with like one little piece of washi, right? Or like today, this Tuesday, I worked, I got all my check-ins done somehow. I journaled a little bit, I worked. I napped because it was a rough night and then I had like all my calls and then I canceled cycle bar and just like laid on the couch. <laughs> like <laughs> we don't need to talk about this week. Um, and then today still like a couple little stickers and some washi tape. And this is really about the extent of the decoration that I do in my daily pages. So do just a few more sort of flips of like my daily pages so far for April. I would say that I could do like an end of month flip, but to be quite honest, the last month, the last week of the month and the first week of the month are absolutely wild for me. Um, and then this is today. So these are all the things that I already did today. Um, these are all personal tasks that I'm probably going to migrate to tomorrow and Monday because some of the places I need to drop this stuff off are not going to be open tomorrow because tomorrow is Sunday. Um, so I had coffee with Nicole. Um, and then I came home and I tried to nap. Y'all, I really tried hard to nap, but my body does not want to let me nap. I was just sort of lounging and reading until now. And I usually slit all my inserts. Oh, that, see, this is why I don't always love using a fountain pen in my rings. Lounge and read, JLA Buddy Read. A shadow in the ember. I'm rereading this with a couple of friends, but to be quite honest, I am struggling. And I did this until about like 4 p.m. I did doze off a couple of times. That's about it. Um, and I worked this morning at a coffee shop and then I met up with my friend and her girlfriend um, and their doggos, which was quite fun. So I still have to do a bunch of things. I had like a lot of ad hoc work today. So it's like an ad hoc day. Like I had like to do some low carb, high carb notes for a client, update some workouts make some recipes or start some recipes, save workouts to another client's custom library, write up notes for a client for her hormone review. I have another client that wanted breakfast Sammy recipes, um, one client that wanted Energy Bites recipes, I had to pay my accountant, pay my assistant, um, finalize a lab order that was meant to go through and it just like was apparently sitting in my like cart and I never checked out. So I checked out, um, set up billing for a client, um, sent a lab link to another client, I did my end of day reports. I uploaded my mom's documents to our accountant that she was still missing apparently. And I had to migrate a bunch of tasks from Monday and then I have all these personal tasks. Well, Vicky's setup is not, that's a work and nutrition review is work, but like I have to return my ink. I have a declutter sale and then like I'm going to return the loops that I ordered, the loops earplugs that I ordered because I ordered some different ones. And then this is what I like about this, these weekly trackers. I actually chopped this one off. Um, this is another Plan Exto, like page marker ruler type of situation. I chopped the weekend off so it would fit, but these are my like recurring daily tasks. So every day I do client messages in Everfit and Boxer. I do outreach and engagement with my current Instagram community. I do Slack for Fitness Coach Academy, which is FCA. I post, I do stories, I do my FCA end of day report, and I do my personal business end of day report. Um, and I just set this up for Monday already because I started doing a little bit of planning. Vitamins that I took today, YouTube to film. I'm currently doing the quarter two overview and apparently going to make a weekly plan with me a different one. And so 
Um, and then I put this sticky note because this is ordering labs, not for one of my clients, but from one of my clients' clients. Let me explain. I do one-on-one -on -one coaching mentorship for other coaches that are wanting to learn more about hormones, gut health, and how it fits into the fitness space in a safe scope of practice. And one of my client's clients is trying to conceive, and so she wanted to order labs, and so they ordered those labs through me because through my um, nutrition uh, certifications, I'm technically considered like a functional nutrition practitioner. I cannot diagnose, I can't prescribe meds, but I can order um, labs like Dutch testing, serum labs, GI maps, things like that. So I um, ordered this client a... Uh, she put her info in so I can order her labs. Haven't ordered it yet, but I will likely this week. These are my vitamins that I've taken today. I don't want to talk about my vitamins right now. I'm really struggling with those, so I'm going to do it to my daily. And then this is already tomorrow's to-do list. <laughs> Laundry, meal prep, shampoo, couch, bridge paperwork for the chiropractor. I have to plan the week, which I might do today. I need to book cycle bar, which I think I've already done. And I need to book my strength training sessions. And then this is already Monday. <laughs> like this is already this upcoming Monday. Notes for a client, Liz recipes, spices, marinades. I need to send all the recipes to all my clients because I don't do client communication on Saturday and Sunday. I keep like Monday through Friday, like office hours, if you will, for client communication, just because I have to keep healthy boundaries for myself. Um, and I don't want my clients to become so reliant on me that they don't think they can function if I'm out of office. Like it's actually really good for me to take like regular days off. Like I recently took some time off in March to go to Carlsbad and I took like a Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, completely out of office, did no client work. I didn't touch my laptop for like four days. It was beautiful. And all of my clients were totally fine and they were so proud of like how they managed to problem solve the things that they would normally like be stressed about and it was really great for them to have the space to exercise those skills because they're not going to stay with me forever like they're not going to work with me for the rest of their lives so I want them to feel confident in executing skills. So anyway, so Monday's already like wild. And then here's Tuesday. So I've already like popped a couple of things into my week, but I'll need to do just a little bit more. Um, and then again, I have all my weeklies through May. And then here's my weeklies. So this is currently, this is a Peanuts Planner Co. week on two pages. I draw this like line down the side and this is sort of the work inbox and the personal inbox. Um, I confirmed Lauren. I need to, re I didn't do that. I didn't do that. I did that. I didn't do that. I didn't do that. Priorities, working on the habanera. I'm preparing the habanera from Carmen um, for a recital next weekend. Um, only six no spend spots left for April. <sighs> I don't want to talk about it. No food out. I did that today. No books and manage the giveaway. I'm currently partnering with a local boutique for a local giveaway. And then here's sort of my work and personal sort of like events. And I have a lot of things that just got crossed out that didn't get done this week and a lot of events that I had. So my calendar this week was weird. And then this is my personal like um, AM Bites, PM Bites journal, which is the Hobonichi cousin in my five-year journal. Days that I do this, I check it off. And then my book log, macro log, and personal wide rings update is more of like a once a week thing if that like if I need to I update them but I have them just as a reminder so like if I do it tomorrow I would check it off on Sunday but um I added in an extra vitamin this last week because of a peptide therapy that I'm starting with semaglutide um and I added in a little bit of magnesium so um I've been writing it manually in my dailies for now so just to keep me honest and then I do want to go to cycle bar tomorrow but I haven't booked it I still am going to work out today. I did cancel my nail appointment tomorrow or that was this afternoon because I realized I didn't need to go. I've been doing like my own little manicures at home and my nails actually look so cute with especially like using the new nail polish that I found. It's called Dazzle Dry. Love it. Um, and then back here I have my spending um, for April. My goal this week was less than $200. I think I'm going to make it. I did make another Amazon grocery order like some like random essentials. I needed like cotton balls. I needed like alcohol wipes. I needed some like, I think I got some more protein, like things I get on Amazon that are like household items. I don't count it as like, like excess spending. Like that's just like groceries. Like, and then I have the rest of the weeklies and dailies. Ooh, what are you doing back here? You don't belong here. 
Y'all are extra. What are you doing? Where is this going? What is happening? All right, here is next week. These belong somewhere in the back. I'll deal with you later. And then I have all of my weeklies dated like this. This is a Randy Dot Plans. This is Planner Monkey Co. I have all my weeklies like this through the end of June. And each week has a little spending tracker on the back. This is not supposed to be there. Week 17, April 22nd. So like you can kind of see week 18, April 29th. So everything's sort of pre-dated and like pre-set up. Um, even though it's a ring planner and I don't normally do dated, but this is just what my brain needs right now. Then in the back we have, and I just recently had to switch this to a, to this tab. Although I don't think I like this as a bottom tab. I think this needs to be a top tab. My notes page. Cause what was happening is this divider over here, where'd it go? Was getting completely smashed. Like it would close and it would smash like this. And this poor thing has like seen better days. And it's because I think these, I cut these down to Franklin Covey compact size. These were personal wide. I cut them down a half an inch and repunched them. Cause I have a ton of personal wide dividers. And I was like, why buy new ones? If I have a bunch of extra, I'll just repurpose the ones I have. And I did that, but this one just got so smashed up. And so I was like, whatever, we're going to make this tops tab. And I have three sections in my notes section. I have my project notes. So that means like these are the one-on-ones that have come through for April that I need to make sure book an onboarding call. This is from March Instagram post that I made sure I sent notes to my graphic designer on what days I maybe didn't use, what days I'm done with. Um, same thing for April table for managing the podcast made podcasts. I have to check off a lot of these things. We'll do that in the plan with me. This is back from February emails that I sent out. Um, this is some email sequences that I need to do and finish. This is a course that I need to do. This is all sensitive info, which is why it's got a little um, cute little thing. And then this is, I have some sort of like random notes that I meant to start and didn't. I made this notes page myself in Canva. How cute. Um, on my birth control course and then branding ideas, onboarding call notes. And then this is my back here, my inbox. And I won't show you this cause this does have some personal information, but I just have random notes pages that say personal inbox and work inbox. And I actually need to go through and kind of reorganize it. Cause some, some of it's like long-term projects, like setting up, like redoing my mom's like will and like setting up a long-term healthcare policy for her and random things like that. And some of it's stuff that maybe has already gotten done. And so I actually want to go through and like clean up my inbox, but for now this works. And if I start a new page, I just go updated on, put the date so that I know what's the most recent. Then I've got this as my miscellaneous notes. So this miscellaneous notes is like online orders and actually I got my order from Bixie Shop and Coffee Monsters Co., which I was gonna show, but maybe I'll show it in the plan with me. My screen protector still needs to arrive. Um, these are more just blank online orders. My wish list of things that I want if I bought it, when I bought it, and how much it is. Um, my strength sessions, I bought a package of 21 sessions and I just haven't used a ton of them. I've been going in at weird times, but a lot of times I'll still text my coach and be like, hey, this is my schedule for the week and we don't always have an in-person session, but um, I am gonna aim for the next like few weeks. I wanna get through, I'm like, you've been slacking on your in-person sessions because part of the reason I have an in-person strength coach is y'all, I have been fitnessing for many, many moons, many, many years. I joined a gym and started weightlifting when I was 16 years old and got a, and had my parents get me a home gym to work out when I was 13. So like I've been training for a long time. So like the amount of effort and like how heavy I sometimes need to lift in order to continue to see strength gains is like so rude. And I really do not enjoy the physical discomfort. <laughs> so I have a strength coach that I meet with on a regular basis to keep me honest, to keep me honest. I do health coaching too. This I get why people need coaches because I am a coach. And it would also make me kind of a hypocrite if I told people like, hey, you need a coach. And I didn't invest in coaches for the, the areas where I'm lacking. Like I have a business mentor. I have a strength coach in person. And then um, I also have like my talk therapist. And then I have soon to be my brain spotting therapist. So it's just like, there's like a whole mess of things going on. If you, and you are not the smartest person in the room. We not, and we shouldn't be, right? We shouldn't be. We should always try to get in rooms with people smarter than us. 
Cali trip packing and I have Dallas trip packing and trip packing in here somewhere only because I need to make a like a reference for packing list. Like I've been brainstorming like task cards and reference cards that I want to make. Packing is definitely one of them. I have cosmetics purchases. So whenever I buy like shampoo or makeup um, or like setting spray or whatever or like skin products, I like to know just so I can kind of gauge um, how often I need to buy those things. So like I bought um, moisturizer in February and I bought it in also November. And so I kind of know like November, December, January, February. So maybe I put it on like an auto renew for those like specific cosmetics. And sorry for that skip there. Uh, I actually, my, apparently I can't shut up and my camera was still rolling and it only will film for like up to 30 minutes at a time. So anyway, so that's that. Um, I, this was just notes from a masterclass that I took, um, an insurance call for my mom, a pen test page, and then this is, I think, other just stuff that has sensitive info, so I clipped it together. Um, I did a time audit, so this is one thing that I do sort of on a quarterly basis. I do like a quarterly review. And um, so like I added up like how much like percentage of time is going towards each and then sort of sorted out how many hours I need to do everything plus some extra at a minimum, like at a minimum what I need to protect on a weekly basis. And so it's nice to know that like I'm efficient enough in like my marketing and stuff like that now that like I've reduced kind of my weekly hours to like 34, 35 hours a week, really just to like get the needs of my business met. And so I'm like, Ooh, this gives me some play. Like I can do some extra projects or things like that. So I'm currently trying to like work out like what is a good work schedule for me? And I've made some new changes. So unless I can avoid it, um, no personal appointments during like work hours and the no call weeks. So I do like a weeks and B weeks for my call availability. Um, so I don't have private calls every single week. Uh, because that breaks up my like workflow. So I'd much rather have like weeks that are like a project focused week and then weeks that are like call FaceTime, like, you know, client delivery focused type of weeks. And so I kind of, not that I'm not doing client, I do client delivery and client communication every single day. Right. But like booking all of my client calls it otherwise would break my days up very inconsistently and I need to like have sort of uninterrupted stretches of time. So I do A and B weeks and that really makes a difference in my productivity. I did this on the 28th of March. And then I just have like blank notes pages and these are just notes pages that I made in Canva. I was like, ooh, let me play with like some cute designs. These are just grid, I love grid. Or some other ones I made like um you saw before like the diamond ones I made some with like little sun and I actually punched these upside down by accident these were meant to be at the top but I think it still works um yeah they still look cute so it's fine and then these are just notes pages and then I have a May paper co page lifter here in the back and then in the back here I just have a couple of like washi cards for like some of my most used washi so I'm not taking a bunch of stuff with me all the time and then my favorite grayish I think this is like I have no idea what color Tombow this is because it's come off and I never like protected it. This is my favorite gray sort of go-to Tombow marker. So that's my like, this is my thing. This is my planner. This is really like everything I would need to reference on a daily basis, personal and work together, project management, project planning, notes, appointments, scheduling. So that's all she wrote. I'm going to stop this now. Um, if you do have any questions or like where I found certain things, or if you want to link to something, uh, or an insert you saw, like maybe you like those row row plans, let me know. And I'll uh, drop the link. I'll update the description box. Otherwise I'll probably do sort of minimal links to things just cause I don't feel like it unless you want something specific, then I will just let me know. And back here, I just have stickers. Hey, anyway, um, that's all she wrote friends. Um, I'm going to do a little plan with me maybe now, uh, and we'll catch you later.